All right, now Samsung has started rolling out an all new update for its devices which are currently running on One UI 5.0 beta. This is the beta 5 and in some regions, this is gonna be the beta 4. The change log you can see here, the size is about 610.55 MB. The version number ends with ZVJA. Of course, the security patch level will be for the 1st of October, 2022. Now in the change log, we don't see any new feature additions here. It's all about the bug fixes and stability improvements. You can see there are close to about nine or 10 bugs which have been fixed. And then they have mentioned some known issues and some standard instructions here. Now, as far as my device is concerned, this is the S22 Ultra Snapdragon variant. And I did not come across any of these bugs after the beta four update, or let's call it beta three update in my region. The phone has been performing really well. Now, after this latest beta, which I've just installed, the phone is even more smoother. The animations are really good. I noticed very few lags here and there, but the phone is doing really great. And believe me, the One UI 5.0 based on Android 13 has taken taken one UI to the next level for sure. It feels really good to use this UI. It's feature rich as usual. We've got loads of features which are being added on this version of one UI. It is much more refined now. The only issue most of us had was with the animations. It wasn't up to the mark, but after the last couple of betas, Samsung seems to have really worked on the animations and it looks much better. It feels much smoother. The transitions have improved. Overall, the UI has really improved to a good extent. I have already covered most of the new features which arrived on One UI 5.0, you can go ahead and check out the channel. And if you are someone who want to know your phone better, then this is the channel you should be a part of. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and give this video a like if you find this video useful. If you have noticed any new change or new features, don't forget to drop a comment. That will certainly help the community. Once we get the official version, let me post another video on all the features that we've got with this One UI 5.0. Stay tuned for that video. And I'm also going to be posting a new video on the lock screen customization features on One UI, iOS, as well as the stock Android. So stay tuned for that video as well. It's coming up in a day or two. That's all I want to share with you guys in this video. Thanks for watching. My name is Salian signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye. Like